Today's topic of discussion is treatment of migraine. Welcome to Pharmacomania. I'm Dr. Shanaz Malik. Migraine is pulsatile headache usually restricted to one side which comes with a take lasting for 4 to 48 hours and associated with nausea, vomiting, sensitivity to light, sound, flashes of light, vertigo, loose motion and other symptoms. There are two types of the migraine. Migraine with aura, it is the pulsatile headache preceded by neurological symptoms like uh, visual, sensory, with or without speech and motor disturbances. And other kind is the migraine without aura. It is severe unilateral pulsatile headache that typically lasts for two to three days. So here is two type of migraine, migraine with aura and migraine without aura. Migraine with aura is the classical migraine and it is uh, with aura. It is the neuro throbbing headache with uh, preceded by neurological symptom like uh, visual sensory with or without speech and motor disturbances. When another one is uh, without aura, it is the common migraine and it is the severe kind of headache, unilateral pulsatile headache that is typically lasts for two to three days. Now pathophysiology of the migraine, there are two types of the theory, vascular theory and neurological theory. So in vascular theory, initially vasoconstriction or shunting of blood through the carotid arteriovenous shunt, uh, venous anastomosis producing cerebral ischemia and start attack and followed by the neurological theory a spreading depression of the cortical electrical activity followed by vascular phenomena and releases the inflammatory mediator like 5-HG, neurokinin, substance P, calcitonin, G-related peptide and nitric oxide. These all substance uh, releases and causes perivascular edema and leakage of plasma from the inflamed cranial vessel and brain now ending in the uh, dura are activated by the stretching. Now treatment of acute migraine. So non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are used for the acute migraine uh, like uh, uh, paracetamol, uh, aspirin, ibuprofen, naproxen, diclofenac and mephenacimic acid. These all drugs are uh, used for the mild to moderate uh, migraine but it should be uh, taken for short term not for longer duration of duration. Uh, second one is the antimatic drug to uh, relief provide relief in nausea and vomiting associated with the acute attack and uh, it improves absorption of the oral medication used in the migraine. Drug are metoclopramide, domperidone, uh, prochlorperazine, promethazine and diphenhydramine can be used as antimatic in the acute attack of migraine. Now, ergotamine preparation can be used oral, sublingual or suppository in the onset of pain or warning symptom. So, mechanism of action, it acts partially agonistate the 5 one b and 1D receptor in the cranial blood vessel and constriction of the dilated cranial blood vessel and decrease inflammation and extravasation of plasma into perivascular space. Uh, ergotamine available in combination with caffeine as uh, caffeine increase the absorption of the ergotamine and also has vasoconstrictor effect on the cranial blood vessel like ergotamine. Uh, also, dihydroergotamine is the another preparation which can be administered parenterally, subcutaneously or uh, parenterally as intramuscular intravenous and uh, subcutaneously at the time of attack. It is safer for the parental use than the ergotamine. Adverse effect are uh, due to dependent nausea and vomiting, weakness, tingling of the extremities, chest pain, temporary changes in the heart rate. Contraindication in pregnancy, coronary artery diseases should not be used in sim simultaneously with triptan. Now triptans, that is selectively 5 g one d and 1B receptor agonist includes sumatriptan, resatriptan, electriptan, Elmotriptan, Zolmitriptan, Naratriptan and uh, Frevatriptan. These all drugs are selective 5-HT1D1B agonist and mechanism is it uh, abnormal dilatation of cranial blood vessel. Uh, this is the mechanism of migraine, abnormal dilatation of the cranial blood vessel, cerebral ischemia and migraine attack precipitated. 
when mechanism of tryptan is the when uh, introduced tryptan selectifies the receptor agonist and constriction of the dilated cranial blood vessel and atriovenous shunt and restore cerebral blood flow. Tryptan is the preferred drug in the acute migraine, acute attack of the migraine. It decreases the serotonin and vasoactive peptide released by the acting on 5-HT receptor uh, on the presynaptic nerve ending which is autoreceptor. 5-HT receptors are autoreceptor and it inhibit uh, release of the serotonin and inhibit extravasation of plasma protein in the perivascular space by inhibiting rele releasing of the inflammatory peptide from the nerve ending in the perivascular space. They decrease the inflammation. <coughs> All triptan are administered orally. Sumatriptan can be administered subcutaneously as well as nasal root. Zolmitriptan can be introduced by nasal root. Sumatriptan is rapidly acting and uh, half-life is 2 hours. Other triptan have higher uh, oral bioavailability than sumatriptan. Frevatriptan and naratriptan have longer half-life than the sumatriptan. Now, adverse effect of the triptan are uh, paresthesia, tightness in chest, flushing and dizziness, nausea can occur, pain at the site of injection and uh, blood pressure can uh, shoot uh, and coronary vasospasm can occur. Now, uh, contraindication is the pregnancy, peripheral vascular disease and hypertension and coronary uh, artery disease is patient and triptan, should, triptan and ergotamine should not be given simultaneously. Neither should be triptan to be taken within 24 hours of the ergot derivative. Now prophylaxis of migraine. Uh, prophylaxis require if the migraine attack occur two to three times uh, in a month or oh, there is a significant uh, impairment, functional impairment. So, 2 to 3 drug can be given as a prophylaxis like beta blocker, propranolol, dimolol, etanolol, metoprolol uh, can be given. Propranolol is the more effective than any other beta blocker and require prolonged therapy and mechanism is not known. Antidepressant like tricyclic antidepressant, amitriptyline is helpful to reduce the attack of migraine, uh, especially for the patient with the depression. Exit mechanism of action is unknown and uh, tricyclic antidepressant produces undesirable side effect on prolonged therapy. Now calcium channel blocker for example verapamil and flunarizin they reduce the frequency of attack. Flunarizin is selective for cerebral uh, calcium channel blocker and uh, has uh, uh, sodium channel blocking effect. Calcium channel blocker should not be co-administered with the beta blocker. Anti Convulsant for the like uh, example gabapentin and sodium valproid and topiramide are used for the migraine prophylaxis. Other drugs are methyl circuit and sepropterin are rarely used for prophylaxis migraine. Thank you for watching the video.